Good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes. Good evening. Hello. Can you can you hear me? Yes. We can yes, hear we you. Can. Yes. Yes, oh. teacher. Great. So, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm ready to begin the new year. Yes. Yes. It's a long time, right? The last class, a lot of vacation. Yes, it was mm -hmm. in December. Yeah, what, well, November and some? I think the last day in November and then December, no classes. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. but we finished on December. No, I don't remember. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I think we finished in, in November. November. In November, okay. I think so. Yeah. yeah, a long time, a long time, but it's good to be back. So my name is Edwin Cubillas and I'm going to be your instructor for this module, okay? So if you have any nice questions, and I'll be happy to help you. We also have a WhatsApp group. The WhatsApp group, you should have the link in the platform. In the email that you receive, you have the link to join the WhatsApp group. <laughs> oh, yes. yes, yes. Yes? Yes. Okay, good. That way everybody can join the WhatsApp group. So before we begin, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Don't worry, don't be scared. Uh huh. Dr. Patricia, if you want it, you can you, you can be first. Okay, good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Patricia Herrera. I am from San Juan Manualco, La Paz. Um, and uh, I am glad to be starting the, this um, English course again. And uh, I hope to improve my language. <laughs> And uh, uh, know all you. Okay, well, great to meet you. Thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you. You're welcome. Who else? Rafael Dabu. Okay. Hello. My name is Rafael Dabu. I am. 34 years old. I am a marketer. I work at Pollo Real. I, I have a one boys and one girls. One boy and one girl? Yes. Okay. How old are they? Uh, my son is 13 years old and my daughter is 22. Okay, so they are that your daughter is an adult. Yes. <laughs> okay. Good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Who else? Okay. No problem. No pressure. If you don't want to participate, it's okay. Only watch the video, but you don't improve your English not participating. So today we're going to begin. Um, I'm going to explain to you a little bit about the idea of the course. The course has four sections for four weeks. So let me share to make sure that everybody can see, okay? Let's share. Okay. So here we can see that we have four sections. 
the advanced module. This is advanced module number one. And we are going to have four sections. This week, we are going to complete section number one and begin section number two. Next week, we're going to complete section number two and the midterm. So we have eight classes. In eight classes, we complete section one, section two, and the midterm. And then the other two weeks, we complete section three, section four, and the final test. Remember, the midterm is exam unit one and two. The final exam is unit one, two, three, and four, okay? The minimum grade is 80. You need 80 or more to pass the level. Here, you can always check your progress. You click on it, and there you can see how your grade is. You can see the minimum grade is 80, and you can check the activities for each unit. Each unit, you're going to have four activities. One, two, three, four, every unit and the exams. Now, how do you know which are grades and not grades? It's simple. The ones that have grade have a special symbol. Is this, it says knowledge check. I can hear you. No? And the others, can you hear me? Yes, I can yes, hear you. Yes. Okay. Yes, so check your internet. If you can't hear me, then it's your internet because the others can hear me. So the important okay. is uh -huh, the knowledge check. All of the knowledge checks are the ones that are graded. It's important to complete all of the exercises, but the most important are these. The 1.2s, the, the ones that have all of this little symbol, like a notebook. Those are the ones that you want to complete. Okay. Any questions about the platform or how many units we have or the grades? No, it's okay. No question, teacher. No questions? I'm okay. I don't have. Okay, good. All right. So uh, the important is before we begin, I'm going to show you a little video from InsaForp and then we can begin the class. Okay. 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 Good. El Insaforp ha trabajado con un alto nivel de profesionalismo, pensando siempre en incrementar las posibilidades de crecimiento para la gente de nuestro país. Nos hemos dedicado a que a través de la formación se generen oportunidades para los salvadoreños y así cada vez más, en un mundo más competitivo y globalizado, siempre existan en nuestro país posibilidades de superación para todos. Miles de hombres y mujeres han logrado desarrollarse profesionalmente y han ampliado sus conocimientos y posibilidades laborales a través de los diferentes programas de formación que son parte del Sistema de Formación Profesional, el cual ofrece programas de formación para todos los niveles de recurso humano dentro de una empresa. Se ha incrementado productividad de muchas industrias y cientos de empresas a través de la capacitación y formación de cientos de miles de salvadoreños con programas como Área Técnica, ofreciendo cursos técnicos para mejorar el desempeño operativo y tecnológico de los trabajadores. Competencias Gerenciales, con temas de capacitación para complementar y actualizar conocimientos para áreas de gerencia. Inglés para el Trabajo, contenidos estandarizados del inglés para hacer a los trabajadores más eficientes y productivos en el desempeño de sus funciones. Mejora de Competitividad de las MIPES. Amplios temas de capacitación, específicos para micro y pequeños empresarios. Cursos cerrados y abiertos, tratando temas de capacitación para trabajadores de las empresas cotizantes de Insaforp. Insaforp Online. Cursos online, con el horario y ubicación que más convenga al usuario para la constante capacitación en múltiples temas y profesiones. Además, el Insaforp también genera oportunidades para los jóvenes y los salvadoreños en condiciones de vulnerabilidad, ofreciendo para ellos cursos de formación inicial para que más salvadoreños puedan crecer y desarrollarse con programas como Hábil Técnico Permanente ofrece la enseñanza de técnicas y destrezas en diferentes oficios, complementando el conocimiento técnico con competencias blandas necesarias para desempeñar un trabajo. Empresa Centro 
es un exitoso programa que utiliza la modalidad de formación dual, ofreciendo carreras técnicas que combinan clases teóricas con prácticas en empresas con un alto porcentaje de empleabilidad. El proyecto Caminos de la Juventud forma a jóvenes en condiciones de vulnerabilidad que han finalizado el bachillerato, brindando formación vocacional, habilidades para el trabajo y emprendedurismo. Proyectos especiales. Los proyectos especiales son aquellas acciones de formación que incorporan a otros actores e integran elementos complementarios, como desarrollo humano, articulación con proyectos productivos, financiamiento de herramientas y equipo básico para el autoempleo. Trabajando con el compromiso claro de ayudar al desarrollo del país y con un equipo profesional entregado a buscar oportunidades para nuestra gente, es que Insafor ha logrado tener un modelo de gobernanza y gestión ejemplar que tiene como base el diálogo permanente entre el sector empleador, laboral y el gobierno, formando a los trabajadores, capacitando a la gente de nuestro país. Es que transformamos la vida de las familias salvadoreñas, porque en Insafor trabajamos todos los días sabiendo que, a través del conocimiento, es que estamos formando un mejor El Salvador. ¿Te ha pasado de su francés en una de estas academias? That's the one. Okay, great. That is in case you have or you want to take other classes for Insafor, that way you have all of the information. Okay. Today, we're going to begin with lesson 1.0, the lesson objectives. Here, we're going to have, uh, Crisia, can you please read? Um, okay, at the end of this class, participants will be able to use verbs followed by gerunds and infinitives. Okay, so let me first take off and make sure that we have here. Good, I see that some of you have the camera activated. It's very important to activate the camera. That way you can see the person and see them. It's very respectful. It's not nice to have the camera off because it's more difficult to understand the person, right? So it's always, if, if you are not driving, if you are safe, please activate the camera. If you are in the car and listening to the class, I understand. But if you are in your house, it's important to activate. That way we can all have the idea to see each other and our partners okay thank you very much don't worry it's okay we don't care that uh, patricia hair is crazy or eric uh, is in the house is the same we are all in the house is normal we understand is we finish the day no problem okay thank you so much thank you very much for activating your cameras so now we're going to go ahead and continue And as Christian mentioned, today we're going to learn gerunds and infinitives. Do you know or do you remember the difference, gerund and infinitives? No? No, I don't remember. No problem. Super easy. Gerunds, I-N-G. Gerunds are verbs with ing. So when we have gerunds, it's ing. Super easy. And infinitives are the verb to be. Is with two. So I can say as an example, working, playing, studying. This is a gerund. To work, to play. To study is an infinitive. In this moment, we're going to watch a small video to help us a little bit, a little bit. Okay, Crisia, no problem. We want to officially welcome you to our advanced level. Our main goal in this course is for you to speak more, to convey ideas. So we ask you to participate not only in class with your teacher, but also participating on our discussion box. We wish you luck in this process. Hi, before you watch our video about verbs followed by gerund, I want you to work on two previous activities. Number one, complete the survey. Number two, tell us about yourself. How do you describe yourself? You may share your answers with a partner in class as well as in our discussion box. 
You may use these adjectives as well as these useful expressions. Now we're ready to study our topic, but before you go and watch the video, I want to tell you that I enjoy teaching. Share with us something you enjoy doing before you watch the explanation, and let's see if you know how to do it. A gerund always follows these verbs. I enjoy meeting unusual people. I dislike spending a lot of time by myself. I don't mind waiting for people. I avoid talking on the phone. An infinitive or gerund can follow these verbs. I like going to parties. I like to go to parties. I love watching movies alone. I love to watch movies alone. I hate waiting for people. I hate to wait for people. I can't stand staying home alone. I can't stand to stay home alone. So, and the idea is that if you use the verb enjoy, dislike, don't mind, avoid, it is not correct to use to. It's only correct to use ing. It's not correct to say I enjoy to meet. It's not correct to say I dislike to spend. It's only correct the gerunds, verbs with ing. But if you use verbs like like, love, hate, then it's correct to use gerunds or infinitives. Okay, this is the idea. Some verbs have infinitives, some have gerund, and some you can use both. A gerund is often the object of a preposition. I'm interested in meeting unusual people. Remember that gerunds are verb forms ending in ing. Gerunds after verbs. Common verbs followed by gerunds are finish, give up, can help, imagine, don't mind, keep, miss, and suggest. So for these verbs, we are going to use with ing. Finish cleaning the house, give up studying Spanish. I can help imagining. All of these verbs you use with ing. It's okay? Yes, no, we are mute. Yes, Woo! it's okay. Woo! Yes, excellent, teacher, excellent. yes. We have the first person participating. Wow, amazing. Thank you so much. All right. And the others, it's okay? It's okay. Okay. All it's right. okay, teacher. Yes, it's okay. Thank you, thank you. Me gustan como mueven la cabeza, que según ustedes los voy a escuchar con eso. I like it, I like it. It's amazing. It's talent, it's talent. Very nice. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> All right. So now let's watch the next part. Other ways to use gerunds. A gerund is often the object of a preposition. Finally, we have infinitives and gerunds after verbs. Some verbs can be followed only by gerunds, some only by infinitives, and some by either. Gerunds only. Avoid, dislike, enjoy, finish, mention. Infinitives only. Only, agree, hope, intend, learn, plan, promise. Either gerund or infinitive. Begin, continue, like. Remember, we have just given you some examples of the verbs that you may use with gerunds, infinitives, or both. Okay. Now... How do you feel about these things? Discuss your answers using verbs or expressions followed by infinitives or gerunds. Number one, listen to people's problems. Number two, go to places where you have to use your English. Okay, so the important is that we have an idea. If you need, or if it's not clear, watch the video again, or later tonight, watch the video and try, okay? This is the important of always trying to watch the videos beforehand. Now, today we're going to try to use some of these videos, some of this information, okay? Um, first, because it's the first day, we want to get to know each other, okay? 
So we're going to practice getting to know you, getting to know different things about different people. First, do you know each other? Are you partners? Are you friends? I am not. No. 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 Okay. No one person here. Do you know one? Okay. Sorry. Nicole and I are friends. Okay. Nicole. Nicole Salva Salvaleta. Yes. Salvaleta. No. She has problems with her mic. So I'm sorry she can't speak, but it's okay. It's Nicole, can you... she's using, but okay. she's there. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Okay. What about and the others? No, it's new, N new classmates. Teacher, uh, in my case, uh, Rafael Dabu was going in uh, another course with me. Ah, okay. We were partners in another course. Okay, so do you know one person also? Yes. Okay, um, good. Mm -hmm. Great. Nobody else? No. No. Everybody is wasn't. No problem. Wasn't to know. Okay. So we're going to practice a few different things. We're going to talk about with our partners. I'm going to put some questions so that we can talk about them. Okay. It's going to okay. be. Don't worry. It's going to be in the chat. Give me one second. Okay. So. Uh, is this the first time you join with Inglés Corporativo or have you participated before? In my case, I, part I was participated in one or two, two models so okay. in the Inglés Corporation. Great. So then you understand how to use the different platforms. In this moment, we're going to have some questions. And in the questions, hmm, this one doesn't copy all the questions. Hang on. Let me try one more. Okay. Here. Chair. Yes. In case I started uh, to study English uh, science, uh, the beginning course uh, by Insafor. Excellent. Very nice. About, I, excellent. I started about uh, five years because the pandemic um, was um, very difficult to, to follow the course. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's true. With the pandemic was very difficult. Very, very yeah. difficult. But now we are ready. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. So... In this moment, we are going to make small groups. I'm going to send you an invitation. And this invitation is for you to join with another partner. The idea is with the other partner, the link that is in the chat, you are going to ask and answer each other the questions. So first, as an example, click on the link. Click on the link and then go down to where the section says icebreaker. Icebreaker questions. <clears throat> okay. Do you see the questions? There are 20 questions. No, teacher. I don't see the question. Uh, yeah, I can see the question, actually. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, 20 too. questions. Excellent. So, Patricia, go down. In, from the link, the link is in the chat, Patricia. Ah, okay. the, uh -huh. Yes, I. Um, okay, so as, a, as an example, is not necessary go in order. You can ask any question. In this moment, ask me a question, and I will answer it. I'm sorry, you said that we're gonna we're gonna ask you some questions in from this the moment, list. In this moment, you're going to ask me one question so that I can ex show you as an example what you're going to do with your partners. All right, I think that 
I would like Dennis? to be the first. Okay, perfect, Dennis. Dennis and I are partners. And imagine Dennis and I go to the group. Dennis ask the first question. Sure. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go with the number, <laughs> the number 16. And it says, what do you do? What do you wish was illegal? I wish it was illegal for people to be stupid because there are so many people that are stupid and I wish they could go to jail. In the street, <laughs> we have people do things that I think really, you are an adult and you act like this in the street, that people throw the garbage on the floor, they don't care, the, just stupid things. For me, I wish it was illegal to be stupid. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> there you go. Super easy. And then I can ask my partner and you, or I can ask a different question. But the important is listen to your partner because when your partner finish, you're going to have to give a small ex explanation about your partner, okay? As an example, we finish. Well, Dennis thinks um, that is that he doesn't like stupid people, that for him, he wished that people, ah, so listen to your partner. When we finish, you have to explain about your partner. <clears throat> yes? All right. Yes. Any, any questions? No, sir. Oh, oh, yeah. I have I have one. How many How many minutes is this going to take? Eight minutes. Eight you minutes. All right. Four minutes and four minutes, and then you explain to the class. So there is not there is no need to complete all the question, right? So no. we're gonna pick you up one or two questions that for you are interesting that you want to know about your partner. All right. Good. Any other questions? No, no we are okay. No? Okay, let's begin. No. You have eight minutes. Karen, Carlos, Marco, you need to join the group. Oh, sorry, teacher. Uh, I, I, I wasn't a problem for a um, for a for a, a little a, a little short time. But I'm 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 in again, right? Okay, so join the group. Okay. Let me see. In the chat, Karen, no. Karen, did you join the group? No, Carlos. Marco, no. No. You didn't join you with your partner. Your partner is waiting for you, Marco. Uh, who's, my, who's my partner? It, when you join the group, you have in your partner. You have to join the group, accept. If no, I I send I, I send your partner to another group. Don't no. worry. No, wait a minute, please.
Karen, you okay? Okay, perfect. So who would like to begin first telling us about their partner and what they learned? May I? Uh, yes, okay. Please, go ahead. Okay. Somebody. You go ahead. Uh, uh, Selena. Uh, yes, you can, you can talk. No, no, you first, you first, first ladies. Okay, thank you. Um, I asked for, for we partner that I am so late and <laughs> to enter in the class and it's for that that we, we presentation each other and we didn't practice the the question. <laughs> I'm sorry, teacher. So what did you do? Uh, we presentation each other. Okay. Tell me about your partner. Yeah. Okay. Uh, only I I am working with I don't know what is with um two to partner more, but I can see the, the face. <laughs> okay, maybe is um uh, uh, he he is Ana Granados and she working in in I don't know, I forgot that <laughs> but Ana Granados uh, she said that like um uh, sleep and uh, she like the food and talk and and she has 30 years she was uh, 30 years old and and i don't know ana granados i i, I forgot all that uh, but i say that i have a problem with the english and uh, and i can't to to pronunciation very well and and I was in the class because I want to practice and every every vocabulary and and I can to talk fluid I don't know and and it's for that that <laughs> that you stay here 
Excellent. Okay, I I am um, I am going to presentation. Uh, I am Selena Elias and no, I no, work. No, no. Only oh, Ana okay. Granados. Okay. Now, all, only Ana Granados. Yes. Okay. I'm... Because now Ana is going to present you or the other okay. partner. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I I am to 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 give the, the microphone for Ana Granados. Okay. Okay, Ana. Okay, Ana. <laughs> Hi, thank you, Selena. Um, okay, so it was Selena, Evelyn, and I. I think Evelyn has problems with her mic. Okay. And uh, well, we introduced uh, each other. Basically, um, Selena and I were the only ones that could speak. And Selena works at Ande Aldeas Infantiles, SOS, which sounds lovely. And she's 50 years old. And she has a son who is 30 years old and she wants to practice her English because she said she forgot. I think it's great that she's trying. So that's it. And then Evelyn, we couldn't hear her because she has problems, but she's trying to solve them. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much. Very nice. And Selena, in this uh, uh, Infantiles SOS is... In Santa Ana, San Miguel. No, is the, the the national office? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I in San Salvador. I, in San Salvador, and I, I work in the program the program area. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, program social program. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much, Anna and Selena. Great. Who else would like to share? Uh, me. Um, hi, Evelyn. I'm Thank sorry. You, Evelyn. I, hello. I'm trying to uh, uh to talk alone uh, alone the class, but I couldn't because I have audio issues. I'm sorry for that. But I for what I I I can uh, I could hear about my uh, classmate. Uh, is uh, I remember about Anna. She said that she works uh concentric. Uh, and remember that because I um, work at Concentric too. Uh, <laughs> and uh, she said that she loved uh, sleeping uh, and uh, she uh, likes, uh, she's a common girl. <laughs> she expressed her, herself like that. And that's, that's the, uh, I, the, the things that I could hear because as I, I was having uh, issues with my makeup. Okay. And, uh, Evelyn, uh, what do you do at Concentrix? I work and customer, I am a customer service representative and a, a bilingual account. I, I speak English and Spanish and that's why I try to improve uh, my English because I, I studied English uh, uh, what, uh, five years ago and since I started working, I couldn't uh, practice my English. So I decided to take this opportunity to try to uh, refresh my English and also improve my fluency because I tend to forget uh, some important words when I'm talking. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Anna, do you, are you also a customer service representative? Yes. Okay, <laughs> but you don't know each other? No, no, it's, it's no. a big company. Yes. I don't know her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's okay. You don't care for the other people. I don't. I go to work. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> You're putting words in my mouth. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I I didn't catch your name because I got in a little late. I'm sorry. Oh, What's it's no problem. It, my name is Edwin Cubillas. It's in the chat. But if you came in late, it, you sorry, didn't yeah. see it in the chat. But I will put it one more time. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Great. Who else would like to share a little bit about their partners and what they learned? I would like to do it. Thank you, George. Okay, I spoke with Rafael and the question we spoke about was number nine. What was the last thing you were really excited about? And he mentioned that last year he went to a cruise trip. So he went to a cruise uh, for one week and that was something that it was very exciting for him, you know? And I spoke with him that that's something that I really would like to do in the future with my family. And 
And also there, there was an, another girl in the, in the chat room, but actually she was having issues with her microphone. So she, uh, we didn't have the opportunity to talk with her. And that's it from my end. Good. And George, what tour did he do? Uh, he, did, he didn't mention, but he, is, he spent one week. Only but one week? On, uh, yeah, one week. Okay, okay. Yeah, but, but that's amazing. Maybe in you know, Peking, maybe in Santana, we don't know. Okay. Maybe Rafael, Rafael can tell us. Uh, you I, know, I, Rafael I, disappeared. Ah, okay. That's yeah, why he I didn't mention because, that. Yeah, uh -huh, he didn't mention Rafael that. Rafael maybe had internet issues. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you, George. I appreciate it. Good. Anybody else would like to share? Yes. Okay. Um, good evening, everybody. I share information with Patricia Herrera and Crisia Quesada. Um, I made a question about, about number eight mm -hmm. to, to, to Pat Patricia. I asked I ask her, uh, what do you highly recommend the most people you meet? So she told me, she shared some information, but mainly uh, what she wants to answer is that people she met, people she met uh, to be better person, to don't smoke, don't drink, and different things. Okay. That's it. Great. Thank you so much, Javier. Um, Patricia, would you like to tell us a little bit about Javier? Uh, well, teacher, uh, I, I arrived uh, a little uh, late to the group, but uh, I listened more time to uh, Chrysia, <laughs> Chrysia Quesada. Okay. And, uh, when uh, I, I, am, I arrived when she was uh, talking about her, um, uh, he lo he don't like she don't like pets and um, uh, she loves uh, sushi okay um but now in this moment no christian right yes uh, yes christian uh, was talking about that mm. no 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 in this moment I think Crisia disappeared also, right, Javier? No, Crisia is here. I'm here. <laughs> oh, there, I'm sorry, Christia. I'm just okay. having Thank you, issues with my internet. <laughs> okay, yeah, no I'm problem. Sorry. It's okay, Crisia. I understand. Sometimes the internet is bad. More when it's raining, sure, uh... it's, it's bad. Don't worry, Crisia. If you can participate, please participate, Crisia. But if not, I understand. I'm sure uh, we were talking about the question number two about charity with Javier when Patricia arrived. So we are talking about uh, we love animals like dogs and cats. So Javier said mentioned that he wants to help uh, dogs and cats that lives in the street. So that will be a great charity. So that was the main point of the questions. And then uh, Patricia came and asked me about what kind of food likes me, but the people think that it will be a little bit old and that was all. Okay, and what food did you say? Um, I mentioned uh, sushi because uh, when I want to go out with my friends, uh, they don't like that kind of food like fish and something like that. So I love it, but it's not um, weird at all, but for them, it, it could be, I guess. <laughs> it's okay. For me, it's like ceviche. You like or you don't like. It's some people- I, they I like it. it. <laughs> and other people, I know, oh, no, no. Yeah. It's the normal, <laughs> the normal things. All right. Thank you so much, Crisia. Thank you guys, Javier sure. and Patricia as well. Great. Anybody else before we continue would like to share? We still have a couple people, but. Um, 
I think that, that is... I would like to participate. Okay. Uh, well, we made a group with Eric and... Oh. Sorry. Uh, okay, Eric. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I forgot the name of my the other teammate. Do you remember? Yeah, Mark. it was Marco. Mark Tulio, Marco Tulio. I'm sorry, Marco. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not that easy to, to remember your name sometimes, but Marco Tulio. Uh, well, um, I made a question to Eric. Um, the question was, what skill or talent would you most like to learn? And well, what he mentioned is that he would like to get along with other people. He's like uh, social relationships. And also he mentioned that would like to improve his uh, computer skills, like uh, computer systems. So those are the skills that he would like to, to learn or improve in any case. Um, mm -hmm. Yep. Thank you those very much. The that, that was for Eric, right? Yep, that was for Eric. Okay, great. Eric, tell us about Marco. Uh, sure. Uh, I'm not good at remembering something, but I'm going to try. Uh, honestly, Marcus, um, the question was what kind of challenge uh, he's facing right now. Or what kind of... So he mentioned that he is the owner of some business. So basically, he needs to deliver some stuff. I'm not really sure what about this, but um, he mentioned that he needs to deliver as soon as is possible, at least he needs to complete all of this at the end of this week, at least for Friday, he needs to complete everything. But I, I hope, all right, sometimes it's a challenge to deal with people, most likely customers, that they just think that everything go faster, right? As they think, but there are inconvenience um, that people need to face at the, at the time. Everything could be uh, a challenge. So I think his, He's doing a good job and I hope he can deliver everything that he needs to do. Okay, thank you, Eric. Very nice. Marco, what about Dennis? What did you get? Marco, we don't... Is there, yeah? Yeah, now yes. I'm sorry. Uh, I wanted to apologize because uh, I have no, no long time to speak with my parents, but I can hear them talking and all the time was responding the questions. Uh, Eric, do, do Eric did me uh, a question, make me a question so I, I have to respond. And it's, it's like he said, you know, I, I, I have a big challenge for this week in my, in my business. So talking about that was, was spent all the time. So the time was over and I couldn't uh, make a question for my other uh, partners. So, but, but here, maybe we, we will have a long time uh, before, uh, after, and we will talk uh, about, a, about a lot of topics, you know, each other. So thank you for that. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you very much, Marco. Well, guys, thank you so much all for those that participated. Um, it's excellent. As you can see, there are two forms to participate. The most important is with the small groups, because in the small groups, you see you have more opportunity. You have more opportunity to participate, to speak. It is more private, you and maybe one or two people, right? The difficult is when we are in the big group. In the big group, like right now, is nice. It's nice to listen to your partner. The problem is, it's a lot of partners. So when your partner speak, you only listen and then listen and then listen. So in this class, we are going to try to focus in the small groups and then only for the big group for questions. Because the objective of this level, advanced one, is to give you more opportunity to speak. Yes, you're going to have mistakes. Yes, you're going to have bad pronunciation sometimes. But the most important is for us to get the confidence, the confidence that, hey, mistakes are part of the process. It's okay to make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you are learning. 
the important is not to repeat the mistake every day. So for this, most of the activities we are going to try to do in small groups, but always we can ask in the group to try to get, if you have questions, doubt, is not clear, the instructions, anything. But as you can see, is better small for more practice. Any questions? No question. No question. No, no question. Okay, excellent. In this moment, then we're going to work with our partners. We saw in the video many different verbs. Some verbs we use with ing. Some verbs we use with infinitives. With our partners, in 1.2, you are going to complete with the correct form. As an example here. Okay, number one is an example right here. Here we have Ada. She says, Sam isn't happy when he has nothing to do. And Gary, I know it really bothers him. What is the correct? Sam can't stand having nothing to do or to have nothing to do? Having nothing to do. Having, having nothing to do. Okay, good. This is correct because with can stand, we learn that is only correct the infinitive. Is not correct the, is, sorry, is not correct. Uh, it's only correct the gerund, not the infinitive and not both. So now with your partner, you're going to complete the six sentences. We're gonna try with other partners. In 1.2, we're going to complete with our partners. Ready? Okay. Okay. I don't know why I, I returned to the main station. Uh you have to, did you click enter the group, Karen? No, so, I only have charge the group and then I come back here with you. Okay, so when you, let me try to send you to another group, Karen. Let's try again. Okay. Accept the invitation. Evelyn, you didn't join the group. Mm -mm. I I go back to the uh, to the main group. I okay. guess I, I couldn't find a partner. <laughs> it's in your. That's why you joined the group. Your partner is in the group. Let's try again. Actually, I didn't as well, teacher. Okay. George, so, to to join the group, I need to click uh, one more time on the link that you shared before. Yes. Your partner ah, is waiting okay. for you, Patricia and Evelyn. Okay, I'm joining just right now. Okay. Did you know what? I no. can't see the, the link. I will send you to a different group then, George. Let's try a different group. Rafa, did you have problems? Hello. Hello, Rafa. Yes, I have problem with my internet. Okay, let me try to put you in another group. No problem, Rafa. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.
Okay, here we have the opportunity to check. Because of the time, I'm going to show you the answers, but tomorrow we will have the opportunity to make sure, okay? So here we can see, number one, the correct is, Sam can't stand, and then the ING, having nothing to do, okay? Having nothing to do, that's okay. Now in Vic, Vic and John avoid the same the answer, going to school parties or going to parties. The two are correct. Right? Number three, we have many ideas. Leslie prefers, and then we need to have a big answer, visiting her parents. Okay. On the weekends or to visit her parents on the of the weekend or visit her parents on the weekend. Here is not correct of the weekend. It should be on, but it's a problem in the platform. That way you can correct. So as you can see, the easy way is we get the information from the structures. So Ivy is into and then learning new languages. ING. We have Sue is worried about ING, Jaren, rock, going rock climbing or going rock, it's the same idea with a period, rock climbing. So the period is not an obligation. You can put or not, as you can see. And then the last one here, Celia enjoys always with a Jaren, volunteering. Don't worry if it's not clear. Tomorrow we have the opportunity to practice more the infinitive and gerunds. And tomorrow we are going to also practice using the new vocabulary. Okay? Okay. 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 Thank you so much for joining. Thank you Thank on you. your first day of English class in advanced level one. Have a great night. Thank you, good night. 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 See you around. See you.